Welcome to Hong Kong. I travel to this dynamic financial hub to learn how an investment meets art and philanthropy. This metropolis, strategically located at the mouth of the Pearl River Delta region, is a natural gateway to the rapidly developing Asian markets. Hong Kong's vibrant art scene, shaped by its cultural heritage and avant-garde spirit, has drawn the attention of collectors. In the central district, the business and retail heart of Hong Kong, we've visited one of the most prestigious global auction houses, where collectors are drawn to the carefully curated pieces. Francis Bellon has been living in Hong Kong for 13 years. He has extensive expertise in the Asian art market. On a toujours pensé que Hong Kong était le, la bonne ville pour nous, pour euh, avoir notre siège régional. Euh, donc les œuvres d'art que nous amenons à Hong Kong sont très faciles à, à cheminer et à renvoyer éventuellement vers d'autres destinations. Il y a une liberté de circulation des capitaux, liberté de circulation des individus. Et historiquement, l'écosystème qui est lié au, à, aux maisons d'enchères, que ce soit les spécialistes, les restaurateurs de, de tableaux, les prestataires de, de logistique, sont installés ici. Aucune ville dans le reste de l'Asie, on pense, offre les mêmes avantages que Hong Kong. The global art marketplace boosts transactions exceeding 2 billion euros. While financial investments are important, for families collecting art, it's also about identity and legacy. So I think that the mission of the collectors exceeds very largely simply the investment financial investment. There is an aspect of the construction of one's own personality. There is a relation emotional that is very strong with the objects. There is an aspect of heritage, of conservation, that is very important for the collectors across the world and also for the collectors of Asiatic. As well as being an art hub, Hong Kong is one of Asia's premier financial and investment capitals. It's the entry point to the region's booming markets. Its favorable business environment and its proximity to mainland China make it an ideal place for managing cross-border investments. As art and other assets bring wealth into the city, family offices ensure strategic investment across generations. But what are family offices? I would always say family office is almost like an institutionalized or professional unit that takes care of family matters. And when it comes to family matters, it involves both financial legacies and non-financial legacies. Around 3,000 family offices are currently operating in the city, and more are expected to set up here in the coming years. I think for family offices, it's never just about the monies, so it's not equivalent to wealth management or asset management. I think it's the culture, is the know-how, and is the, um, the nice things about our history that we want to you know, pass on and bring it on to our next generations. My grandfather really started in talking about linking again you know, philanthropy into business. There's a Chinese saying called Zi Kong Basik. It's really self, constant seek of self-improvement. You know, I really believe in so trying to solve kind of social problems. And in different generations, there are different needs. Winnie Xu runs a family office that has a portfolio in the hospitality sector with more than 60 hotels across Europe and Asia. She's the third generation in her family to head up the business. The company has grown in the last year. For her, profit comes with purpose. Winnie, what do you think is important to blend profit with purpose? I think it's truly important because that's the only way whereby it can be truly sustainable. That's also why I like hospitality, because it's about human development. So my only dream is that we can have some kind of positive influence uh, into, that you can bring back into your day-to-day -day life. When his company supports many philanthropic projects like a Chinese herbal medicine garden to promote health or vocational training programs. With the co-creation lab in BTC, what we also bring in is annually like an angel investing competition and whereby we have, we have, you know, really families from Hong Kong and youth designing solutions to, to try to, to solve our different social problems. From philanthropic ventures to expression through art, purpose-driven portfolios are increasingly becoming a focus for family offices in Hong Kong within the business landscape.